Well, there's something you don't see every day at Goodwill. And it looks like they just brought out a cart not too long ago. There's something strange happening in the aisles. There are actually tubs full of things on the floor that we're gonna have to go explore a little further. Ooh, you have some brilliance to you. Who makes you? How much are you? You're $2.99, I'm taking them all. Yeah, that's exactly, they just toss it down in a bucket and that really upsets me. It really upsets me. I am getting to Goodwill on Wednesday, which is our senior day. Okay, I promise. I'm not gonna say it multiple times. Just, I'm gonna say it right here. It's 40% off. Okay, who am I lying to? I, I'm probably gonna say it more than once in the course of this, but sometimes I feel like, so here's why. Because if I pick up something, say for $7.99, and somebody didn't remember that it's 40% off, I wanted to be clear that I would not have picked it up for $7.99, because I don't want somebody else then going out and paying $7.99 for something. You hear what I'm saying there? So I do try to be aware that people are watching and learning from me as I go about this little shopping escapade. Now, here's the other thing. As you're watching this, my little girl just turned 16. So that is why I'm doing a video for tonight. So I'm filming this on Wednesday, but you're seeing it on Friday or later. Uh, but I promised that for her 16th birthday, she gets me all day and we're going to spend the day just going and doing fun stuff that she wants to do. I think we're going to go, let's see, we're going to go see the lion habitat here in Vegas. We are going to go, I think we're going to go to um, the Mandalay Bay Aquarium. We haven't been there for a really long time. And if we have time, we're probably going to go over to Sequest or someplace else too all the things that she really loves to do. So that is what I'm doing today instead of doing a live sale. So instead of a live sale, I'll probably be doing a couple of extra whatnots thrown in over this next week, just to kind of make up for it. Because after all, reselling is my business. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this Goodwill and see what we can find. Let's get shop done. I swear we have the most bipolar weather in Vegas that anybody could ever have. Isn't that true? It's true. It is windy and yucky and overcast, but you know what? That's okay. We're gonna get in here. Oh, cart wrestling. Oh wait, that's the lucky one then, isn't it? I'm taking this one. <laughs> All right. We got a lucky cart and our color this week is gray. All right, let's see what we got. Look at this lamp. It's just, I mean, it's its like just one of those bars. I use something similar around my desk and it puts off really good light. Ooh, it's $120. Okay, not tempted, not tempted. Let's see if there's any other tempting pieces here in the furniture. It's a cute little desk. I really, I, I look at this and I, Okay, who else can look at something like this and you see the possibilities? You don't see like the scratches and the dings and the dents. You kind of go, oh man, if this was fixed up, you know, a little, you know, pop that back on there. This is an older piece. I'm looking to see if it has a name in it. I don't see a name, but it's just a really nice little piece that if it had a little TLC, it would be a super nice piece. But alas, I have to leave it. Well, there's something you don't see every day at Goodwill. It is a, it, this I think would be considered like a grandmother clock, right? It's not big enough for a grandfather clock. Spartus, made in USA. All oh, the pieces there, they are kind of nice, but no place to go with that. <sighs> okay, nothing exciting in there. Let's get over to our hard goods. And it looks like they just brought out a cart not too long ago take a peek see a melamine tray in there that looks interesting little bicycle built for two ah, it's a threshold okay can leave that 
ounce is pour on this. $79 Pottery Barn piece. They are asking $12.99. I'm not sure it's retained that much value. I could give it a quick look up. Oh, wait. See, here's one of those times I'm going to say it. It's 40% off. See, I even almost forgot myself. So it's, it's less than 10 bucks. Okay, we'll grab the Pottery Barn pitcher. Take a peek at this big lovely. It's just a home piece. I think that's a Walmart brand. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, look at these. These are only $1.99 each. Love them. What is this? Are these a three pack, different length, test tube, hanging glass, planter, bud, flower vase? You know who would like these? You know who would like these a lot? Yes, that would be my plant loving daughter. $7.99. Okay, I'm going to say it. You know it. You know what? I'm not even going to say it. You can tell me down in the comments. What was I going to say? Pepper. Ray Dunn. It's just a little container for your pepper. $2.99. I just picked up a whole bunch of Ray Dunn. Now, the bad thing is it's Easter stuff, and I totally forgot I had it, so I did not get it out and sell it for Easter. <laughs> So I'm going to be holding on to it for just a little while. Um, but because I have so many other Ray Dunn pieces, I might just pick this up. Why not? Why not? There's something strange happening in the aisles. There are actually tubs full of things on the floor that we're going to have to go explore a little further. Optics care and cleaning. Also, I don't know if you heard my announcement the other day. I now have a second channel I have made that is just all of my, it's gonna be, it's gonna be. There's one video up there right now. It's Critter Cams. I have my aquarium cam footage up there right now. If anybody wants to just put on some relaxing aquarium in the background kind of music and fishies dancing all around that is up there and we're working on more success achieved through effort determination and perseverance ah yes signs everywhere signs <laughs> love the signs all right nothing else in the cart let's move along if you would like to go check out that channel and hit that little subscribe button it is the Niche Lady Critter Cams, and I am going to put a link in the very first comment of this video. So just go look for that, and there will be a link to go on over and check out that new channel. I just spotted this guy up here. Oh my, are you cased? You are cased. You have an applied handle. You look very Italian to me. Nice quality. Unfortunately, though, there is a stress crack right here. And that happens when these handles get used and they're really not meant to be used. I know it's a pitcher and you would think, well, I should be able to use the handle. Unfortunately, this is what happens. Now, it's not a bad stress crack, but that is a bad chip break right there. So unfortunately, we have to leave that beauty behind. But I would have picked it up. Little chipmunk candle is still here. Oh, he's cute. Ooh, foggy water. Ooh, you have some brilliance to you. Who makes you? You are signed. 19, 1989 FM. Who's FM? I don't know. Made in Germany. FM, FM, FM. Who is FM? Hmm, I'm gonna have to look that one up, but for $4.99, we're gonna figure it out and figure out what this piece was for. I'm doing something super fun on my Monday live show at 1 p.m. Pacific time. I will be on with George the Antique Nomad, and we are going to be going over some of those spectacular antique items that I found at the swap meet in my recent video. So I hope you will join me and learn along with me on the history and all the information that George puts out there for everybody. It's just, he's amazing.
that's still here. Now, this is not 40% off because it's red tag, so that's gonna, it's gonna be there a while, but these caught my eye, Mexican pottery. They are Talavera. They are Mark Talavera. So $7.99 each, we will grab those. Okay, this little set is still here. I, whoop, there was a ping pong ball in there. That scared me. It's still, ah, just the amount of damage on this, it's just a little bit more than I can justify picking it up. Look at these monkey bookends. Oh my goodness, they are heavy, $12.99. They price the bookends separately, and then you've got this centerpiece, and they're all, they are resin, so it's not like they're, you know, some bougie antique or something. These are interesting. Yeah, we got dolls still here. Let's see what we got over in the candle section. Candles. I think I look at that box every time I'm here, and it's still candles. Is that a willow tree? We got a little willow tree. She's $5.99. What is she missing? I feel like she's missing her flowers. I think she had flowers on there and they are missing. I said missing like three times, I know, I'm sorry. What are you? Were you a bell? I think you were a bell because there's like a chain for a clapper in there. You're kind of nice, $5.99. I kind of like it. I kind of like it for $5.99 minus 40%. Yes, I'm going to get it. That's a pretty easy fix, just sticking a new little clapper in there. Okay, you see what I'm in love with right now? I'm absolutely in love with the peppermint trees. Let's move you out of the way. How much are you? Ooh, they're new with tags too. Christmas Noel Ashland. How much are you? You're $2.99. I'm taking them all. Okay, let's see what else is up here. Now, those are for my own decor. I'm not reselling those. This guy is, oh, he's a candle. He's a three, four, four wick snowman head. Can oh, no, they've just got a candle in there. But he's being sold all together with that candle. These types of candles are usually really expensive too. Gosh, I feel like this is a really good buy. I am gonna do a Christmas in July thing, which isn't that far away, actually. May, June, yeah, that's only three months away. And I really like him, and he would be 40% off. Ah, uh, gosh. I, I think that's like a $25 candle alone, not even counting that it's in here. Yeah, I'm gonna pick him up. This is a nice, eagle candle. I had some of these wild animal candles that were, um, I had a, I think I had a tiger and a elephant and I had all kinds of these. They took a while to sell. They did sell, but they took a while to sell. And you know, I'm not a big, I won't sell candles online any of the summer months. I just can't ship them safely. Not out of Vegas. Okay. I don't see anything else. I do see the little pumpkins, but these just, just don't excite me that much. I can leave those. All right, coming over. Oh, I haven't seen any science experiments for a while. Coming over to the, this is like the wood section. These are sweet grass baskets, and it is a pair for $5.99. I like that price a lot. It's a nice vintage pitcher, but pitchers are, big bulky hard to ship and the amount of shipping takes away from how much you can get for them in the selling price and we all know that the seller does not make money on the shipping so if that money is going into the shipping then that's money that the seller is not making even though the seller then has to do you know all the heavy lifting to do the shipping and you know you know how it goes nice Asian wood jewelry box. It had another emblem on here on the top that is now gone. Ooh, this guy's still here. Still not for food use. That's right. That's why I didn't pick him up. I was trying to remember why I didn't pick him up. Oh, poor little poo. He's still here too. Nice wood bowl. It's $12.99 red tag. No discount on that one. Ooh, that's another pretty 
jewelry box. This one is $20. $20. I just don't think I can do $20 on it. It's not like antique or super old or anything. It's just pretty. It's just a pretty decorative. It's probably a $30 to $40 on the resale market. Cute little hound dog, but he is missing an arm. And let's see. Some pretty little coasters. Are there four? There are four. And gray is the half price, right? If I'm remembering right. So these is, is, is it gray? I think it's gray. So these would only be $2.50. I'm going to grab them. It's funny, just as I was saying that, they announced it over the loudspeaker that it was gray. So, wake up and be happy. That's bougie. Bougie wakes up very, very happy. And he makes me happy. Oh, that's sweet. We adopt not because we are rescuers, but because we are the rescued. Yeah, you know, animals, they will never let you down. Those are interesting little pedestals. My brain's going, what could I use those for in the store? What could I, no, these tops, I like the wood part, but I don't like the tops. And I don't want to go through all the work to take all those tops off. So Thanksgiving desserts, but it's an empty box. Okay, I think we got what we're going to get out of this section. Now we are over in the metal section. That is an egg shaped something. Not sure what that's for. Anybody know? What would you use that for? More little metal candle holders. Oh, that's kind of a cool little chandelier guy. We'll come back to that shelf. Just needed to get out of somebody's way. Oh, I wonder if it goes with something like this. No, it's a little bit different. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's see if there was anything over here. Hmm, nope. Party light stuff up there. And last chance. And nope. Oh, well, let's see what we got under here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, see, you guys were telling me how great this, I just can't, it's just, no, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Sorry. I hope somebody else makes tons of money off of it. It's just, to me, it's just not right. It's not right. This is not expensive glass. Look, some of your indicators are, see this, the unevenness, it's just, it's not made with precision and quality and you know, it's, you can feel the texture of it. It's just not, it's just not there. So pretty, but not high quality glass. And because it's not high quality glass and it's not going to fetch a big price. So we're looking for things that'll fetch a pretty decent price. All right, let's head down the plastics here. Let's see what we got. What are you? A marble. Uh-huh. Oh, are they Hobby Lobby trees? I just love them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight of them. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ah, they're so cute. Olive keeper. They're what? Oh, they light up? She's telling me these light up. Oh, I guess, yeah, you could put lights up in them. Yeah. But these ones, yeah, these ones don't light up. Maybe they, you didn't get these at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, it says Christmas Noel from Ashland. So these probably came from, well, isn't Ashland a store? I think it is. I don't know. I just love them. They're going on my counter. I'm thinking, when these, these look like my Kim's, but the one I got Kim's, it had a bottom on it. Oh, but you got me thinking that I could put little lights up in there and light them up. bottom on there when you pushed it off or on. 
Gotcha. It looks the same. It just doesn't light up. But okay. You, but you could put your own inside. There. Yeah. I think I will. I like that idea. Thank you for that idea. And that's cute, too. Yeah. And Isn't it cute? Yeah. Christmas stuff. Uh, yeah. It's cute. Christmas is good all year long. She was very kind. That looks like an Australian themed candle. All right, next section. Well, I think it's appropriate that I found, found a new little mug to give to Rachel. I'll probably stuff it with some candy or something for her birthday. But this is my saying to her all the time. And what I love is, no, I love you more. No, I love you more. <laughs> we kind of go back and forth with that. So this is fun. Oh, I love this look, but this is plastic. If that was glass, I'd be grabbing it. There is a glass version of that. Who makes you? Oh, we can't see. It's no mark on there. It is pretty though. Okay, this is the row that there's a whole bunch of tubs on the floor that we're going to peek and see what they're doing with that. If that's just coming out or stuff that they're pulling off of the shelves. Ooh la la by Bia. These are kind of cute. Let's see who makes you. You were made by Fresh Vegetables. Doesn't say. Okay, look in here. So there are greens. Oh, they're all different color tags. Oh, there's some broken. I think this is stuff that's being pulled from the shelf, actually, and going back. I'm one plant short of crazy, crazy plant lady. Should get that for Jordan. She won't admit she's a crazy plant lady, though. Come on. Got to be careful. There is broken glass in here. It looks almost like they just threw it in here as part of the problem. Yeah, I'm pretty much guessing. These are the pulls from the shelf, and it's just like, ugh, don't get me going. I hate, look it. Yeah, that's exactly, they just toss it down in a bucket, and that really upsets me. It really upsets me. I mean, it could have at least gone to the bins and had a chance at a new life. So, urgh, urgh. Look at these cobalt blue teacups and saucers, $2.99 each. I think I'm gonna grab those. I will just tell you, we never do that at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. We never do it. We give stuff away. We, You know, it, there's clothing that we put out the back door for the homeless. There are things that we put up in a bin up in the front for people to just take. There's absolutely no reason for it to end up in the landfill that way. Ah, this is a Starbucks. I know because I have sold this one before. It's a Valentine's Starbucks. So I would not pay $4.99 for this, but I will pay, what, three something? with that 40% uh, off, so we'll grab that one. Let's see if there's anything else in the mugs. What's this one here? I gotta put, gotta put my Starbucks down for a second. This one says, love is a four-legged word. Oh, that's very sweet. Nice big coffee mug too. Let's see. Mm, nothing. Stefan Dermander Mythos de Legend. <laughs> That's almost like German, right? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's not. The dog in dog wines, I've only had one. Ah, that's funny. Very cute. All right, glassware on this side. Don't see anything too exciting. There's one little cactus glass, but yeah, I'm not going to pick that one up tonight. And then pan over here. I didn't finish off this side. I got a little distracted. I see this box under here. Looks like it would have had a lid. I can envision this with a planter sitting in it, like a cute little planter with this wood accent around it. So I think I'm gonna pick that up. Let's see what? What is this little stationary thing? A Hawaiian thing? Got this little. Uh, I think it's Bavarian cream or sugar. Let's see. 
This was the other shelf that I didn't look at. What are you? Bamboo plate. It's got like a Japanese mark on it. Pretty, but big. All right, let's keep going. So obviously these are not flying off the shelves. Okay, and there's been a lot of resellers in this store. So it isn't just me that think these are gonna be a little bit of a hard sell. Look at these uh, shot glasses. $6 on those as an espresso cup and saucer. $6 on that. What are these? Let's see, these are a uh, party dish, the waiting game. This, oh, what are you? $12.99 for the cafe collection. I just, yeah, it's not a good pickup for me. It's just not. But let's see what else we can find. A little basket weave, just made in China. Let's see what else we got. What's calling our name? I like the leaf pattern embossed on that. This is an older piece, but they don't sell for too much and they're quite heavy and take up a lot of space before they sell. Okay, I think you guys were asking me when I passed this by before uh, to pick it up. You would have liked it. Oh yeah, it's only $3 now because it's a gray. All right, for those that were asking, I'm picking it up. Punch bowl, anyone? These are probably certified international, really pretty colors. This is Terra Poppy. And then there's the Sunflower. They're, pre oh, they're pretty, <laughs> but they're not super high quality. That's a pretty tray for $1.99. It's not that old or anything, but I sure do like that. Go through the cookware. See if there's anything exciting. I don't see anything. A little percolator coffee pot. It's kind of cool. But no, not terribly exciting. Oh, that poor little guy is still here. Color copy paper. We can definitely use that, especially at 40% off. Paper's not cheap. Look at, here's some more. Now this one's $3.99. Kind of coming out of its package, but yeah, we'll get that too. I do like the baby blue. So if you buy something from me, you just might get a bougie blue. Bougie blue invoice. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Feeling like we could use these at the store too for things. I feel like we could. I'm gonna grab those too. What are you? Oh, you're like bathroom, bathroom set things. What are you? I don't know what you are. You're a lid to something. This is Harry's body wash. Okay. I always look at the paper plates too. There's not enough here to justify, but I don't care what they say on them. If they're cheap enough, we go through a lot of paper plates. So I do look for them. What are you? Hold on. What are you? Light up Starlight Kitty and Cutie Crew. Make, play, and display. Hmm. Interesting. What are you? The most wonderful time. Oh my goodness, that is an advent calendar, I think, with chocolate in it. Goodness gracious. That is probably not going to be super tasty. All right, we got ribbon. We've got a little Nodderhead Chihuahua dog in this, and there's a little bunny in there, and there's a trinket box. But you know, I got my. Oh, he's not a Nodderhead. I thought he was a Nodderhead. He's not, he's not a nodder head. He's just a little chihuahua. So I'm gonna grab that baggie for $3.99. See what's in the other baggie. No, little resin bears, resin bears. We'll stick with the doggy. Oh, I thought they were marbles for a minute. And I think that's it on this row. 
got a little, oh, it's a candle. That's funny. I bet they didn't know it was a candle and they put it in the pet supplies. It looked like an aquarium piece. All right, let's look through little lamps and such. Here's a little nightlight bear for $5.99. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Doesn't super excite me. Little cranberry glass. It's newer, modern. Again, not super exciting. Let's see, this is kind of a nice uh, brass desk lamp with a musical treble clef. Let's look at, oh my goodness, what's going on here with the plug? It's, it's stuck between the shelves here. Okay, this has like a transformer piece on it and a old, old plug. I'm gonna say like 1970s. Let's see what the price is on this baby. Oh, it's blue tag, $5.99. All right, we need to make room in the cart for this. All right, let's see if there's any other excitement happening here. I don't think so. I think that was the one. It is a vintage floor lamp here though. It would be $10. Look at this little milk glass piece on here. And then we travel down here and you've got a little twisted now, I don't, I'm sure that this would polish up, but this plug looks like a 30s, 40s plug to me. Doesn't it look like 30s, 40s, maybe 50s? Super sweet lamp for 10 bucks. All right, I'm buying something big. All right, so we took that up front and we've got our little ticket to keep it safe. My cart is still here waiting safely for me. All right. See if I can turn it one-handed and get back on track. I know I see, I see one more old lamp here. Another very old lamp. Oh, I like that one too, but nope, 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 nope. We've done our lamp buying for tonight. Let's look through this art just ever so slightly. Bark less, wag more. I like that. Peanut does both. That girl, she can't wag any more than she does. But she really can't bark any more than she does, too. Look at that button frame. Kind of cute. Oh, this guy's sweet. For $2.99. Oh, he's, he stands up like this. Are you too bent? No, you're still solid. You're still good. Do I need to rescue you for $2.99? I feel like I do. So sometimes when I don't look through the linens and textiles, I get a comment saying, why didn't you look through the linens and textiles? And honestly, it's because there's just really nothing there. Let me just give you a little pan shot here. It's pretty wiped out. So not very hopeful that there's much that's gonna call my name. And then I do also scan the pillows, but I do it from afar and if there's nothing, then there's nothing. And then we gotta look through the toys and see who's, uh, oh, 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 okay. All right, you got to appreciate it. Look at this villain's puzzle. What are the chances it's all there? Mm, 1,500 pieces. Ooh, that's a lot of puzzle to make to find out that there's like a missing piece. Just can't risk it. Ugh, that would have been a cool puzzle though. Somebody will risk it. Dodge Charger. Doesn't feel like it's all there. Right. Who are you? A little BF doll. Very new. Modern is what I mean by that when I say new. Oh, you are interesting. Very, very interesting. 
Okay, I don't see anything that we're going to end up needing this time. All right, let's take a peek through the purses. Do want to get enough inventory back together to do another purse sale over on Whatnot. Wednesdays is going to be the day for, we're going to alternate and do different things on Wednesdays. So some weeks it'll be jewelry, some weeks it'll be purses, some weeks it'll be, I don't know what, maybe shoes and clothes. I don't know. We're going to have some fun with it. I want to learn all the different categories over on Whatnot and figure out what works and what doesn't so I can mentor more people to be successful over there. Put that over there. I'm looking at the Dooney. I don't know. Is it a real Dooney? Let's see. Let's look inside. We've got, I don't know, that tag looks suspect. And the fact that it's still here with a gray tag, meaning it hasn't sold, I'm going to take that as a sign of people who know Doonies probably know there's something off with this one. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. Oh my gosh, look at that jacket though. <laughs> Hang on. Be sweet clothing. I don't think that that is anything super special. Okay. All right. Oh gosh, and then I see another little lacy thing over here grabbing my attention real quick. It's a skirt. That is so boho, but it's got lots of rips in it. Okay, focus, Danny, focus. We're gonna go, we're gonna head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'm gonna tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That is coming up right now. like a little tussle over a shopping cart ended up working out in my favor because I found some really fun things and some things for my own Christmas decorating which so many people commented about those peppermint trees in my cart it was really fun because uh, those are gonna go up um, well I don't know where I'm gonna be come Christmas time I'm definitely not gonna be in the house that I'm in so I have to be thinking about that where are all my little peppermint trees gonna go I don't know Anyway, whew, fun stuff. Now to get home and feed the kids. They're patient. They're awesome. So with that, you 
go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.